Comms time. And now please meet the RTS KP12 CLD intercom panel. This 12 key panel has a color display, internal speaker and a host of onboard connectivity. A VoIP option is also available. It is compatible with an existing Atom, Cronus and Zeus frames. This is distributed by Magna Systems and the list price is 4200 Shall we start with Peter? What do you think? This is the type of talkback system that requires a matrix card frame in the middle and these boxes are clients hanging off of it. It's not like a party line system for those that work with party lines. Um, traditional panels of this type were sort of mechanical things with nice clunky switches on the front and lights that came on and so forth. Uh, this one's obviously using latest technology, so it's a lot more compact. It only takes one rack in at a space, not two. And all the keys are soft assignable, so you can design how you're going to use them yourself. Yeah, I think this is a cool product. Another thing I like is that uh, RTS products are all pretty much back compatible. I could use a 12-year-old Zeus card frame with this and probably get some good results. And I could use old... Zeus panels, uh, KP series panels with a brand new Zeus 3 card frame and still get some use out of them. So you, you wouldn't or couldn't use this with a Rydell or... With Correct, a yeah. This, oh, this you, you could with enough interfacing bits in between. But you wouldn't bother. You what, wouldn't bother. You, do, you, yeah. just, you just use another panel of the same flavour. Can I just grab that for a second, Pete? One thing I've just noticed, if we can have a look at this, this is really cool. I've just figured out why it's got three three screw holes on the side, you can pivot it on the rack ears and that's really cool. When you install it, so if you were installing it in a bench or something, you could actually pivot it and have the rack ears sitting flat on the bench. The display on this is good, the keys actuate nicely, they go in four directions plus you can actually push the key in as well. There's a whole lot of options um, for local I.O. on this which is I think a really good thing uh, as an audio guy. I like the idea of that. There's always a dedicated comms person, someone I yell at constantly. Yep. Just because things are always changing because it's so intricate because I have about 10 loops in my ear by the director, the comms is, is a critical component of it. Literally, this is probably the most underestimated part of any production is comms. So that's the RTS KP12 CLD. It needs a longer name. No, overall? If it's a comms panel that does what it's supposed to do and does it well, it's, it's great. Any comms panel in my book that does that is worth its weight in gold. Really. Cool. Yep, it's a, a logical continuation of the RTS comms family. I think it's a good summary.